Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Today I'm going to show you how to download, verify, and install the Monero wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so the Monero wallet is uh, it's a cryptocurrency that uh, focuses on privacy and anonymity. So I'm all for that. And uh, it has some verification that we're going to use. Uh, it doesn't have signed uh, cryptographic signatures, but it does have a SHA sum that we can use to verify the integrity of our download. So uh, I'll walk you through that. That's very important. And uh, then I'll just show you how to set up the wallet. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, after that, I'll do another video where uh, we actually get some Monero coin in there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to the Monero website. Uh, you can see uh, it's a very uh, nicely done website. It's a very cool new, uh, well, I'm not sure how new it is, uh, but it is uh, a specialized cryptocurrency, uh, which is a little more private than Bitcoin. Um, I, I'm not sure most people might think that Bitcoin is completely anonymous, but it's not. Uh, the blockchain is, uh, you know, viewable. It's a transparent blockchain. So, um, you know, the uh, senders and receivers are all uh, there for everyone to see. So, uh, but Monero is not like that. It obfuscates the sender and receiver in every transaction. So we can't trace transactions like we can with Bitcoin. So uh, we want to hit download and we're going to go over here to uh, Windows 64 bit. Um, I'm going to assume we're all uh, Windows users, but uh, there are other ones that you can get as well. Uh, so we're just going to click this link here. Okay, I've got a uh, software folder on my data drive and I've uh, created a little Monero folder here already. You could click new folder and create it on the fly if you want. Okay, and I'm just going to click save and let this guy download. Okay, uh, so now that we have the file here, um, all we need to do is verify it with our SHA sum. So they provide a SHA-256 hash right here. So uh, we need to check the file. We, see, we need to see which hash gets generated when we uh, run the checker on the file. So uh, I'm using the uh, MD5 and SHA checksum utility. Uh, I left a link for it in the description. It's a uh, great software, it's freeware. So we just click browse and uh, take us to that uh, software Monero folder that we just created. Uh, we're going to click there on the uh, downloaded file. We're not going to decompress it until we check the SHA. So, because the SHA was based on the actual uh, archive file. So we open up the archive file and you see it churns out the SHAs, uh, MD5, SHA1, 256. 256 is the one we're interested in. As you can see, uh, we got a pretty good match going here, 5.2 EDD. But why eyeball this whole thing when we can just cut and paste it into the program? Down here at the bottom, we just paste the hash in there and click verify and it will check every single digit for us and tell us that it's a match, it's a lock. So we know we downloaded it, uh, we know it hasn't been uh, altered in transport or corrupted. We don't know that it's uh, it, it was signed by the developer or anything like that, but uh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. All right, and then all we need to do is run the install. Oh, uh, first we're going to decompress I use 7-Zip. I like 7-Zip. It's freeware. It doesn't nag you about anything. I'll leave a link for that as well. It's great software. I, it's one of the first things I install on a new computer. Okay, so uh, now the folders are a little buried here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this guy up in a new window and drag this little folder over here so it's at the top level. A level up. I can get rid of this folder and this. Don't need either of those anymore. Okay, so we go straight into the folder. Uh, you know, you could just uh, pin this to the taskbar. 
so you'll have it down there on the taskbar when you need it. And we're going to do uh, set up a new wallet here. Uh, okay, this is what I was kind of afraid of, but that's okay. Um, oops, sorry, wrong password. Um, I'm going to let it do that first. Come on, Damon, what are you waiting for? Uh, okay, the reason I'm going, uh, I'm, I'm babbling on about all this is that uh, I wanted to show you what it would look like from scratch. Do that unless I do this. I'm going to close this wallet and I'm going to. This is the welcome screen that you would uh, normally see, and we're going to create a new wallet. Okay, and when you create a new wallet, you see you get this uh, seed. You're going to want to back that guy up. Uh, cut and paste it is pretty good. Uh, you can drop it in a word processor, whatever you want to do with it. Okay. And save it. I'm going to call this one uh, C2. Monero C2. All right. And uh, best practice is to write this on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place. Uh, you don't really want it hanging around on your computer right next to your wallet. Uh, if someone get, grabs on the computer, anyone with any knowledge, uh, they could just uh, take your coins, basically. Oh, okay. So I'm going to call this Rex. So now there's two wallets in there. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a password, uh, a nice password. Okay, we'll just move on to the next, and bam, we're done. Okay, and that's the long and short of it. Uh, as you can see, uh, mine has uh, totally synced now. Uh, it takes quite a while to sync on that first uh, connection. So, uh, you know, be patient. It, it might take a while. Um, but that's the long and short of it. Uh, that's how you install uh, or download, verify, and install the Monero wallet. Now, at this point, you could, uh, you know, use this... Uh, address here to transfer some uh, Monero coin from somewhere else, some uh, person that has some Monero or uh, an exchange that you've got some uh, coins on where you've purchased some Monero. Uh, there's lots of different ways. So we'll go up into that into the next video. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you're excited about all this cryptocurrency and cryptography being used. Uh, I am. Uh, if you like my video, give me a like, uh, and if you want to subscribe, you'll be alerted whenever I post a new video. So thanks for joining me, and hope to see you again.